And here we are with video two, looking at the assumptions of that one-way analysis of variance. We got the two assumptions here, normality and homoscedasticity. What normality means is that the data within each of the groups are normally distributed. And what homoscedasticity means is that the population variances for each of the groups is equal. Why do we need those? Here's why. This is our test statistic for the analysis of variance. The F test statistic is the ratio of the mean squared between over the mean squared within. This mean squared between and this mean squared within are two types of variances. squared within could also be the mean squared error, depending on your source. This mean squared between is the ratio of the sum of squares between to the degrees of freedom between. And this mean squared error is the sum of squared errors divided by the degrees, uh, degrees of freedom for error. Remember that this DFB is equal to T minus 1, the number of groups. And this DFW is the sample size, the total sample size, the big N, minus the number of groups. This has a F distribution with numerator degrees of freedom T minus 1 and denominator degrees of freedom N minus T if and only if this mean squared between has a chi-squared distribution and this mean squared within has a chi-squared distribution by definition. This mean squared between has a chi-squared distribution if and only if this ratio has a chi-squared distribution. This mean squared within has a chi-squared distribution if and only if this has a chi-squared distribution. And these two things have chi-squared distributions if and only if the observations are normally distributed. It all goes back to the normal distribution. Here's why. Do you remember the formula for the sum of squares between? It was the sum over all the data points of what? Of that y dot j bar minus that y dot dot bar squared. And this within is the y uh, i j minus the y dot j bar squared. For this sum of squares between ratio to have a chi-squared distribution, that means this has to have a normal distribution. And for the sum of squares error divided by the degrees of freedom error to have a uh, chi-squared distribution, this difference has to have a normal distribution. And that part in the parentheses has a normal distribution, this part and this part. If the y's have a normal distribution, and the y bars have a normal distribution. We know the y bars have a normal distribution if the y's have a normal distribution. So it all goes back to those y's needing a normal distribution. Technically, it's kind of the difference. It's the y's within each group against the uh, dot j's. So if this is normally distributed, these will be chi-squared, this will be f, and our test statistic, this f test statistic, will be meaningful. So, now we know why, let's go ahead and find out how to test it. There's a test for normality. There's a lot of tests for normality. And there's tests for equal variances. There's a lot of tests for equal variances. So for normality, we can use Shapiro book test. 
I like the Shapiro Oak test. It's not the only test of normality, but it's the one I, I'm going to use. It's the one I'm going to focus on, and probably you should focus on it as well for that very reason. For the test of equal variances, we're going to use the Levine test. I can spell Levine. There we go. Again, there are a lot of tests of homoscedasticity. The Levine test is one of the best. shapiro wilk test is one of the best for a test of normality. There are better, there are worse. These are good, so let's use them. Now the next trick is to figure out how to do these tests in your statistical environment of choice. So this actually introduction lecture is really short. But from here, if you're an R person, you go into the R video for lecture two, and if you're a SAS person, you go into the SAS person for lecture two. Are you ready? <laughs>